Welcome to New York City. I am Travel Tom Tom and I just landed here at JFK Airport. As you can maybe see, I look a little tired. Uh, it was a really long flight. I flew from Istanbul to New York City directly. That's already an 11 hour flight. But we also had a five hour approximately emergency landing in Budapest. So it took me a little while to get here. But the first thing I do when I get to a new country is buying a local prepaid SIM card to save me on high roaming charges. So what I'm gonna do here at JFK Airport is see where I can buy a SIM card for the United States and I'm gonna take you with me. Uh, I'll check out the prices and I'll give you of course also my recommendation. But for now, let's find my suitcase. Oh, it's here. Uh. Just uh, walked out into a New York City. Um, I can see currency exchange, taxis, car rides. Oh! It says SIM cards. Yes, you can see. Uh, there's no one in there, it doesn't seem like uh, someone has been in there for a long time. Uh, but there was a friendly lady helping me out and she said there are machines around. So I'm looking for a SIM card machine somewhere. And look what I found. A SIM card machine. Okay. I've been to the US many times and every time I come to the United States there is this problem of getting a prepaid SIM card. It's just not booming business in the most famous country in the world. I don't know why. Because here at JFK Airport, uh, the most famous airport in the country maybe, uh, they have just a machine. Wherever you go, every small country around the world, uh, the first thing you see is car rental companies and SIM card companies to sell tourists. SIM cards, prepaid SIM cards to get connected, uh, to have data on your phone. Well, in the US, this is a problem because, yeah, we have uh, here uh, all the offers and I will quickly go through with you because they're all not worth it. Don't believe these unlimited data. It says unlimited data, but it actually is only two gigabyte, as you can read here, for $60. And there's five gigabyte for $80. And here we have uh, unlimited data at 4G for $100. So it's either you pay $80 for five gigabyte, or you pay $100 for unlimited. Well, I would then pay $100 for unlimited data. However, I think $100 for a prepaid SIM card is a bit crazy. Um, all the other ones, they say also unlimited data, but they mean you have unlimited data at e-network, which is 2G, you know? Uh, that's a bit, uh, yeah, it's not doable. It's only for WhatsApp or uh, receiving emails, sending emails is gonna be a problem already on the e-network. Uh, yeah, anyway, this is kind of what we have uh, here at uh, JFK Airport when it comes to prepaid SIM cards. There are more cards in here. This is phone cards. They're only for calling. And we have travel SIM. And travel SIM uh, may sound uh, pretty cool, right? Travel SIM. Uh, anyway, uh, the card costs $20 here, uh, but that doesn't come with anything. So, uh, But you do get $10 credit. It says really nice there and you can use it in 130 countries, but well, we are in the US and just want to use data here in the US, you know. Uh, anyway, you have to go online to their website to activate it and to activate also a data package. And then I looked for it and one gigabyte cost a $19. So with this SIM card for $20, uh, you're not even uh, getting uh, data on it. You have to top up again and then you can buy uh, a data. But yeah, who wants to buy one gigabyte for a $19? A loco loco, I think. Okay, I'm already done with this uh, SIM card machine. Uh, let's see if there's another option to get connected and to buy a prepaid SIM card here at JFK Airport. Fingers crossed because I have no really that much hope of finding a better deal. And these SIM card machines are pretty much scattered all over the terminal here. Uh, this is already the third one I see. There is another one down there, it's the fourth one. But yeah, the way to buy a prepaid SIM card here at JFK Airport is at these stands because there are two of them. There's one down there and there's another one here. You can see yeah, they have, uh, uh, they look pretty much, uh, they sell everything, AT&T, T-Mobile, 
but they are not here. Damn it. I'm so bummed because, uh, yeah, that could mean I uh, have to go back to JFK Airport again somehow because I want you guys to have the information. <sighs> I was about to take a taxi already, uh, pretty disappointed that I couldn't guys uh, give you all the information you need to know in buying a prepaid SIM card here at JFK, but I've been helped by a very friendly man who works here, and he is like saying, these things, they're here for the show. They are not operating anymore. There is no one uh, actively selling physical prepaid SIM cards here at JFK Airport, which then means, that this is your go-to thing when you want to buy a prepaid SIM card for the United States here at JFK Airport You have to go to the SIM card machines. I already gave you my opinion uh, It's extremely overrated and expensive and yeah, If you ask me, I would not recommend you to buy a prepaid SIM card from one of these machines here at JFK Airport in New York And now you want my recommendation of how to get connected in the United States when you land here at JFK Airport, right? Well, there are two options. Either you wait till you get to the city, and in New York City, in New, la, la, and in New York City, there are uh, shops from AT&T and T-Mobile that sell prepaid SIM cards for tourists. The second option is you buy a prepaid SIM card online before your trip. So in the description, there is a link to my blog post uh, extensive article about how to buy a prepaid SIM card uh, for New York. Uh, in there you will find uh, links to websites that sell prepaid SIM cards for the United States online and it's much cheaper, it's a great way to uh, stay connected in the United States. And then there's a third option, it is called an eSIM card. An eSIM card is super easy and what you could actually do is use the free Wi-Fi here at JFK uh, Airport New York uh, to buy an eSIM card because an eSIM card you do everything on your phone you receive a code um, anyway uh, long story short uh, also in that article I just talked about there's a link to eSIM cards for the United States and that is my very much uh, recommendation on how to say that properly so if you want to stay connected in the United States uh, do not buy a SIM card at these dumb, uh, uh, dumb uh, uh, how to say uh, SIM card machines Get yourself a SIM card online or the best thing is an eSIM card. Anyway, rest me to tell you uh, that I want you to have an amazing trip to New York City. I'm about to take a taxi and uh, enjoy the Big Apple.